Good afternoon. I'm hoping I find you well on this uh, beautiful. Is it Thursday today? I think so. <laughs> I lose track of time. Okay, so I'm hoping that you've been well and that you know you, your business, your family, your relationships, and everything else that makes you who you are are well and um, you know you know, making you happy wherever you are in the world right now. I really, really appreciate you for taking your time. Uh, for those that watch me every single day, that is so great of you guys. And for those that are just tuning in, my name is Prosper Taravinga and I'm the founder and owner of Live Long Digital. We are a full service digital marketing agency where we help digital entrepreneurs like yourself to market, scale, and grow your business so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Jack, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I've got a story and it actually revolves around what we were talking about yesterday. So if you're going to be around, tune in. Jason, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Um, I've been seeing a lot of your photos here and there. Fantastic stuff. So a lot of people don't quite get or realize what it is that um, uh, we, we, we do here. And um, I just thought maybe I'd take today especially to explain and, you know, really make it out clear that I'm not just showing up every day in these 30 minutes to, um, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, just talk to you regarding your business or figure out what it is that is um, happening with you. I actually do run um, digital marketing enterprise and we have um, in total, I think the last time I checked, that was 34 um, full service clients that we work with one on one basis. So it does take much of our time. It does take a lot of resources. And what I normally then say in these 30 minute segments, it's things that we are actually trying out in the trenches. It's things that we are actually doing ourselves in order to get these results. Okay. So just in case you might be wondering why I show up every single day and why I do this. I do this especially for me and if you get benefit out of this that is also good we do repurpose this content so that it's also used on some of our channels um, on YouTube and on LinkedIn so that we reach out to the people that actually do require our services so I just thought I'd let you know how and why this is so important and crucial for us to show up every single day so that you can also benefit and get the information that we're working on and what is actually working within our business. All right. So um, like I said, my name is Prosper. Maybe this is your first time tuning in. I welcome you. And if you've been tuning in with us um, for a while, thank you so much for the support. It really feels great to know that there's people like you out there that are trusting the process the same way we are. Um, okay. So with that, you know, wasting much of your time. I know 30 minutes just really, really goes out fast. Um, I know something for sure that whatever your business model, there always needs to be one thing. And that one thing is usually a steady flow of new clients and customers, right? So they're really... That really is the most important thing um, that that people go into business in. They have a solution that solves a need or a problem that their customers might be facing. All right, and you know that is really what is most important if you really want to scale your business and if you want to grow online. If you have a solution that actually saves people's problems, etc. Okay. So the more clients you're going to get, the more success it's going to, um, you know, turn out to be. And your online business will be, you know, known by those people that you're actually serving and they will be, you know, reciprocating that by either paying you or sending that money to people, I mean, sending your referrals to people that you might be able to help. So in all essence, without clients, you literally do not have a business, okay? But there's something that you have to work on and create behind the scenes before you even start collecting and picking up clients as they come, all right? So, I mean, um, we have a saying in Africa that says that the flower really does not stop and dream about the bee. 
to come and, and pollinate it, you know? The flower just blooms and then the bees come. So in this instance, the bees are the customers and you being the flower, the business person, the entrepreneur, all you gotta do is bloom and make sure that you are creating an environment that when the bees come in, they do know what to pick out and what pollen to pick out, all right? So, like I was saying earlier on, right, that a, a big, nice, steady chunk of clients and customers is actually the key to a successful and profitable online business. And unfortunately, that seems to be the most stressful, that seems to be the most anxiety-inducing, you know, struggle that every single business person that we talk to you know, it's going through and it's not your fault. It's not your fault that you're not getting the customers in the way that you're thinking, um, you know, traditional ways. It's not your fault because what, whenever we learn something, customers are already 10 or four times ahead of us. Okay, and by the time we try and implement anything else, you know, those clients have already, you know, learned it from somebody else or have already seen it from another person or another marketer has ruined it. Okay, before it used to be really cool and nice to call people on the phone introducing your product, but telemarketers have ruined that aspect. Before it used to be okay, I remember when we started, you know, receiving emails and stuff like that. I would read the whole email from start to finish. You know, I'll read every word and I would even reply to say thank you. But now the marketers have gone into that realm and they've ruined it, you know. When Facebook came in, it was really, really fantastic to get leads and stuff like that. But marketers got in and then they ruined it. Um, Instagram was so cool. You would go in, you post your photos and, you know, you would show what you're doing and, you know, post pictures of your food and everything else. And what did marketers do? They got in and ruined it. Okay. But that doesn't mean that there's no way that you can still utilize all these channels for you to stand out. All right, now here the most important part. The most important part here is standing up. Chris, how are you doing, man? Thanks for tuning in. All right, so as a business person or as a digital entrepreneur that you, you are, new and fresh leads are literally the lifeblood of your business. All right, without them, you'll soon run out of, you know, the services that you can actually sell to those existing customers because if you notice, if you're actually running a business right now, there's a few programs that you're using. Your click funnels, um, your landing pages, you're probably paying for your website. All of those little things that you need to be paying for every single month in order to run your business, you are going to need some sort of cash flow for you to sustain that. Because if you don't have that, how are you going to be able to maintain your landing pages? How are you going to be able to maintain, um, you know, your, your YouTube um, subscriptions or whatever it is that you're using right now in order to get those leads, okay? So you need to always ensure that you have a constant influx of new leads that are pouring into your business every single day. The reason why is some people, like I always say, take up to six times up until they decide to either connect with you or to actually realize what it is that you're selling. All right. So the more people you're bringing in, their six time rota is going around and you are just there to fish them out as soon as they're ready for you. All right. So some of the, 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 the leads are going to pan out and some of them will just come there wanting something for free. Try and resist the temptation to give your services away for the promise of a larger payday down the road, guys. You know what? This normally never really works out and your clients will always keep asking for more. All right. If you go in, um, if you're not prepared or you don't have a back end that supports you bringing in people for free and then they will be sold by your products at the back. Try not to just get in people. You know why? Because you just want clients because most of those clients are usually going to be wanting more for free. All right. Because that's the mentality they already have. But unless you've got a back end that then sells them a couple of products, you know, behind the scenes so that you can recuperate your, um, you know, client generation uh, fees, then it is welcome and it is okay 
for you to actually, you know, bring in people to your services for free. I do do that a lot. You know, like I offer free calls. I offer uh, free consultations and things like that. The reason is I do have a strong back end that once you get into my system, you've got, you know, the online prosperity uh, show. I mean, online prosperity course that you can purchase four other courses that you can you know, purchase, you know, the email marketing, how to actually craft, you know, compelling headlines and all those courses that I have. And I also have one that actually makes you into a digital entrepreneur. Okay. So the more people that come at the top of the funnel, the better it is for them to convert a little bit later. You know why? Because they've been in your world. They've known, liked and trust you. But if you don't yet have a back end, Try not to get in people for free because that's what they're going to be constantly expecting from you. Trust me, <laughs> I've been there, done that, and I got the t-shirt. Today, actually, I fired a client who kept asking for more and um, they only just paid a deposit um, for the service that I was offering and they're on, always on the phone with me and they're calling me 24-7. I refused to continue working with them. You know why? Because I think I'm worth a whole lot more and I think they are not respecting that because the way they came into the business was because of a free call. All right. So you can always then, you know, connect the dots looking backwards and see the clients that you really want and just go out there and search for them. Okay, right. There's there's really and Ray Ring, cheers for tuning in, man. And James, thanks for tuning in. There, there are a larger number of ways that we use in our consulting business to generate leads. Okay, but number one, first of all, you really gotta pre qualify your leads according to the parameters that you want to work with. Okay, first of all, I normally don't take a client who does not sell a product that is not plus or minus $750 and above. All right. The reason being, they only have to sell two of their products in order to justify paying me my monthly fees. All right. So you need to figure out how much a client is worth to you and just go out there and search for those people. Because the more you bring in people that are not going to satisfy, you know, the, 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 the way you charge or you bill or the way you do business, it's just going to frustrate you in the end. We are in this business which I hope that is what you're in there for, to actually have a business that is, first of all, profitable, and second of all, enjoyable. So why would you bring in people into your living room that don't understand your agenda, that don't even respect you, they're just going to be jumping on your couches and, you know, with mud wherever they came from? You shouldn't allow that. Even if they're the customers that are going to be paying you, you should realize that these people, you're going to be spending half of your working relationship with them. It better be people that you can actually, I quote, leave your kids with because they're that nice. All right. Because if you're just going to take on people just for the sake of, you know, filling in a bill tomorrow and today, those people will stress you down the line. And the people that hold on to things like, oh, yes, you said you guarantee this, you guarantee this, veer away from those people because they do not see the value of what you're, 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 you're putting out there. Okay? So, you know, you, you, you're going to have to take, you know, each and every person that comes along to your business with a grain of salt. Many of them are just going to be a lot of hard work and many of them just want guarantees that you simply cannot make. The reason is they're just freeloaders and while it's hard to decline their business, particularly when you're starting guys, in the long run, you will be glad you did not. All right. So you want to make sure that you're vetting these people as soon as they're coming in. They're coming in through channels that you have specifically, um, you know, specified so that it's easy for you to track where the gunk or where the shit customers are coming from. All right. So as a consultant that I am, my business really is to work with clients on, a, for, on their SEO, on their AdWords, and on their Facebook uh, related issues. That's the reason why every single time I show up every 30 minutes, just so that I can let you know what's working in our business and how we are actually attracting these leads. So today I thought I'd pull in the curtain a little bit, give you at least some examples of what we actually do to bring in traffic, okay? One of them is these live sessions, okay? If you're noticing live is now being promoted quite a lot on Facebook, and if you're not really showing up for the people, you, all this stuff can be copy and pasted. I mean, you can write it, you, somebody can write a, a status update, copy and paste it from wherever and put it on their own page. 
People now notice the difference of you showing up and you actually delivering the value. Or even if you know people like Ray Rink, they're always showing up. You know what I mean? People like James Simran, they're always here and it's live. It's interactive. You're talking to the people. All right. So that they know that when they do and trust their hopes and dreams, which is their business onto you, you know what you're talking about. All right. So my main focus really is um, if I'm bringing in clients for the consultancy or the SEO work or the AdWords, I have to actually show them that I am good at what I'm doing by being in those channels. All right. There's no way you can tell somebody you're good at helping them with Facebook ads when your ads are crap. Are crap. Okay, and if you're going to tell people you are an SEO expert, which I want to, you know, I want to pride myself as being and my team is working behind the scenes to be. Um, you can even look it up, look up S organic SEO Melbourne. You will check out that we're ranking for that keyword organic SEO Melbourne. You need to start ranking your own website to show people that you exactly know what you're talking about. All right. It's not easy to rank an SEO website. You know why? Because everybody else that's in the business, that's what they're doing constantly to rank their website. All right. So the best way or perhaps the best way that we've been able to generate, you know, targeted leads is into our consulting business is to actually have our website on top of Google search results. You know, when when the keywords that they're actually searching for, they find them. It, it's a big relief because now they know that you know what you're talking about. All right. It's hard to do that. It takes a lot of time. But as a consultant that I am, we've managed to do that in the time that we've been getting leads. And that's why we get very good results for our clients. So if your business entails you to be in a particular environment, be sure to be seen in that environment. OK, if you're a doctor, be seen in a hospital. Don't be that doctor who is talking about him being a doctor at a bar. And then when somebody does choke, you can't help them. All right. So you want to be seen in the periphery of where you're going to be helping and serving your clients. It does help. All right. So if you're a fisherman and you're trying to catch fish in a supermarket, I mean, obviously that's not going to satisfy you because the fish are either dead or they're, you know, you know, it's not the kind of fish you want to catch. You want to go out to sea. All right. So whatever it is that you're doing within your business, be seen where you say you're going to be helping people. If you're going to be a gym uh, or a fitness instructor, don't just be a fitness instructor by, you know, statistics or by knowledge. Be seen to be actually lifting heavy things and putting them back down. You know why? Because that's what your customers want. All right. So some people are now just hiding behind. Yes, it's the experts industry, whatever, whatever. But just putting out content that day and not actually delivering or actually being in the trenches, people will find you out. And then it makes you look like you're a phony. OK, so if you are actually going to be running a business and specifically for local businesses, guys, and if you're going to be helping them in, in, in their day to day, whatever it is, say, say you're, you're helping businesses in Melbourne, you know, to be ranked or to be seen on, on a Google search or something like that. Be seen there where your clients are searching. There's no way you can you can find, um, you know, you, you, those clients or they would respect you if you have to tell them. The only way they can be convinced is by actually seeing you at work. All right. So some 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 of these people that I work with, my clients are not really showing up for their clients or really putting it out there so that people notice where, uh, you know, where, where, where they're hand, handing out um you know, where they're getting results, results either for themselves or for people that they work with. OK, another way that we're actually getting clients is by blogging, guys, putting content out there. All right. First of all, Google likes it. You know why? Because you're creating new content and people are coming to the Internet to get information. So if your brand is not providing that information, then how are people going to know about you, trust you and like you? All right. People, are, there is a lot of content out there, but if your content is, let's say you are out there, you know, putting out Facebook ads, when people come to your website, if they don't find anything else that you've written, that also testifies to the fact that you know what you're talking about, it's going to be difficult for them to convert. 
All right. So, you know, you, you want to have a blog that you regularly post content that actually and genuinely helps people in some aspect of their business, guys. You know what I mean? So so that they see your expertise right from the get go and how much great content you're willing to give away for free. It makes them think to themselves. So if this guy is doing this for free, how much or what else would they give if I actually paid them for it? Okay, so that's what my consultancy does. We we encourage you know our clients to actually start a blog. If you cannot start a blog, do a, a Facebook uh, live like this. And if you've got time, you can actually get it transcribed into a blog or into a PDF, or you can just embed this um um you know uh, uh you know live feed onto a blog so that people will find it in the future when they're searching things that are related to your industry, all right? So this is how we do it. I do this Facebook Live, and one of my team members takes it off of the, the internet, puts it onto YouTube, one of them takes it out, puts it onto a blog, all right? And then it then becomes yet another piece of, you know, um, information that can be shared onto uh, LinkedIn, that can be shared onto uh, Medium, that can be shared onto Quora, and all those other places, okay? And then we also write an email to our existing database to show, to tell them that we've just done it live, all right? And even if there's five people watching right now, if you come back tomorrow, this video would have had maybe three, 300 to 400 views. All of those people is from the syndication that we then do after the live has been done, all right? So this is my way of putting out content every single day and then it gets syndicated, all right? So half of the time people really just end up coming to us as a consultancy just wanting to do paid ads. Of course, they work. But if you're going to be pulling people from a traffic source, which is either Google or Facebook or Instagram, and bringing them to where there's nothing, I always refer to it as a party. If you're going to invite people to a party and there's no drinks or snacks, or there's no real good music at that party, do you think people are going to stay? All right? So, you know, you, you, you could run the best precisely targeted ads because we're good at that. We will put you out there. All right. Um, a <laughs> supermodel out there. Well, I can't compete with you, Omri. You, you were you were modeling for Versace, weren't you? All right. I'm trying to catch up. Okay. So you know, especially on Facebook, they sometimes you would not be able to actually get as many people as you want at that particular time to do whatever call to action you you ask. You've got to retarget them. Okay, so pull out a pixel from your, your Facebook and whatever blogs you're going to be putting out there. Because people, when they have seen your content, it's an easier conversion than you going out cold at them. Okay, so it makes a lot of sense for you to retarget people that have already seen your stuff. It makes a lot of sense to, to talk to people that already know that you exist. Yesterday, I put up a live and I was like, you know what? The only people that we know who are doing what we do is us. We're not sure of what else is out there and what customers are exposed to, all right? So it doesn't mean that the moment they see your Facebook ad, they automatically jump onto it because they've seen that one. They've seen that one. They're going to be in consideration phase. They're going to be thinking. They're probably going to be picking their kids from school. Oh, my God, they forget their kid needs to go to hospital. They need to go to the vet. They are not constantly waiting in line just to get your stuff. So you've got to retarget those people, okay? If somebody does show a bit of interest, raises up their hand by, you know, giving you their email address, make sure you are providing them with constant value and showing them how they can get more from you. Because there's no point in you getting somebody's email address and then eventually forget about them and not, you know, email them or reintroduce them to your offers. People are out there wanting to buy stuff. We're just not asking for the money. That's the reason why we're not getting a lot of sales. Yesterday, I put up a post on, um, on my Facebook, if you're following. I asked, are you, let's be honest, are you actually making sales in your business? Because we can tell those people that are making coin and those that are not. And it's possible to see how, you know, people are evolving within their business and the people that we talk to, you know what I mean? Some, some people are too pedantic on old ways that are not really working and they're really, really, you know, killing the momentum that they have in building their business only because they are not doing the other step that's needed. Every little digital marketing step that you're doing, unless you 
or brings your customer to the next step. The blog brings your customer to your course or whatever you're selling. That course then brings them a little bit closer to your one-on-one -on -one teaching or your group coaching. And then it goes on like that. You can't just bring somebody in and expect them to, you know, like everything else that you do. They gotta try you out first and see you out first. Now, have you got samples? Have you got testers? Have you got the things that they can sample you out and see exactly what it is that you've got to offer? All right. So it's one of those things that you really um, got to put out there that it's not just going to be just because somebody swiped right. They are ready to Netflix and chill with you. You know, I always keep going back to this. You know why? Because some people are rushing too much to go out and do ads and they're wasting a lot of money and we can see it. But it hurts me to see that happening and especially people that are connected to me that are not doing the right thing. All right. Most of us really want to win at this. Most of us really, really, I mean, it's, it's, it's inevitable. We want to pay our bills. We, we really want to level up. But what we're not realizing is we are coping and we are learning from people that have been in the game long enough than we have. Do you do what's working for you? Figure out what your customers really want from you. Figure out exactly what you are offering your clients and what it is that they really, really want from you. Um, Abadiah says, perfect timing with this video. Exactly what I'm working on right now in my biz. All right. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're just putting out ads, putting out ads. But what are we inviting the people back to? That's what we should consider. Ads are like you have been given a 10 second radio spot. What are you going to tell the people and what are you going to say in that 10 seconds? All right. So it doesn't mean that you put an ad there. It's just going to be be it and end There's got to be a strategy behind. And that's why I'm saying for my consultancy business, we are showing up. All right. I don't want to even lie. I don't know where they are. I can show you so, some things that people don't realize is, is small things like this. This is another touch point. I've got business cards, but obviously in the digital era, some people don't believe the business cards are needed. You know what I mean? Because nobody is really waiting for you to show up on their business every single day and, and, and they can remember you or just because they saw your video or your content, they will remember you. Leave your mark in a lot of places. I went on a trip around Australia and what I was doing was a little bit of an experiment. Um, it was quite funny. Three days ago, I received a call from somebody in Perth and they and then I asked them, how did you get my details? And they're like, you know what? I saw your um, your card in a cafeteria that I went to. All right. And that cafeteria, I stayed in there and, um, you know, I was just looking at the cards that were there and you stood out. And then I went and I checked your website and then now I'm ringing you. Although that person was not ready to buy then, but they did make an effort. All right. So there's small things that we can do because the whole online space is a little bit congested, guys. I mean, I'm working in there. Once you go online, you're competing with people like Gary Vaynerchuk. You're competing with people like Ty Lopez. You're competing with people like, I don't know, me, you know, everybody else, Brendan Bashard. Nobody's going to be soft on you just because you only just started yesterday. You are on the same level once you start putting ads out there. So you want to make sure the little that you're bringing out or bringing in back home, they at least have something so that they're not going to be taken out again. All right. So you, you want to make sure you're putting out some sort of videos, um, maybe promotional videos, just to explain a little bit of what you're doing, because that's what I encourage my clients to actually do. You know, videos are actually a really great way to help. First of all, your presence. People really need to know who are they paying the money to, all right? Because there's a lot of stuff that's happening. I don't really watch the news, but I've heard devastating stuff about uh, Manchester. You know, that could have been somebody who's somebody's student. You know, that could have been somebody who, who, is a, who is a digital entrepreneur or whatever it is. People now really want to know who they're paying their money to because they might be supporting somebody who's going to hurt them in the future. Some of us have kids, you know what I mean? I really want to know where you're putting my money if I pay you. So it's just one of those things, all right? And make sure you are not just going to be a one-click wonder by actually creating strategic partnerships. Once you have a bit of, you know, flow with your business, start connecting with other business people, all right? Start striking deals with other service providers that you can work wonders with both of you. I know, Nicole, we're supposed to talk on, on, on strategies and partnerships. I'll get back to you, love. All right. So perhaps, you know, you offer something um, that another person does not do and vice versa. 
You know, maybe somebody's just good at web design and your specialty is SEO. Find that person because their clients would need your service. Right. So instead of you going out and just being a one click wonder, find people that have services that you can marry together and then create one really strong package. The reason why bigger companies are winning is because they have the money to experiment and hire people in different departments. You can always create your own company by actually creating relationships around you. People that are really good at marketing, be friends with them so that you can also complement your services with them. You know what I mean? So if you're a good writer or if you're good at copywriting, find out, seek out people that are doing websites, seek out people that are digital marketers so that their clients can become your clients. All right. Because if you're just going to rely on ads, that's pretty cool. But what are you going to offer in the future? What are you going to offer again and make sure whoever you gets into your space, you're retargeting them with, you know, better, um, you know, with better uh, what do you call it, offers and you're sending them emails just to show them that you are there. Because building and, and marketing to a targeted list will ensure that your business is going to last for the years to come. Right now, a lot of our businesses do not last until tomorrow at 10 p.m. if we're not working on them. Do you know that? A lot of these businesses that we have, they don't last until tomorrow. If we just stop working in them right now, that's it. Because you don't have any content online, because you don't have anything that moves your business tomorrow or makes you money while you sleep. So that's the reason why I always revert back to this, guys, the online prosperity blueprint. It's just an easy four-step system that we've created, which has actually helped me. I'm from Africa. I did not know any of this stuff. I had to learn. When I came here, I just had nothing but a bag full of hopes and dreams. But when I realized that you really got to talk to the right kind of people, give them the right kind of payoff and find out exactly what their pain is and deliver a product that works for them, that's when things started happening in my business. Okay? When you now know those exact people, you know what to talk to them about. So it's easy for you to engage them. You are now educating them because a lot of people are just wondering generalities, aren't they? They do not know what they want. You got to educate them on what to want. And most of it is usually your product, okay? And while you're providing value, some people are just copying and pasting things online. If you're going to stand up and show up every single day for your customers, they will appreciate that, which I think you guys appreciate what I do for you guys every single day showing up like this, okay? And then pretty much after that, you're now just converting, which is how you get the leads, okay? You are no longer chasing these people for them to convert. You're solving their problems and you're just measuring what's working, keeping what's working and what's not. All right, so all you now got to do is just really figure out what works, what's not working and do more of that. All right, and then pretty much it's just a lot of online marketing, you showing up for your customers, etc., etc. Okay, and after you've done that, these people, you're not done with them. You now connect with them and that's where authority comes in. And you know what authority does? It brands you as a, as a go-to person in your niche. It, it creates a community around you. What a community does is whenever you have a new product, they're going to buy it. Whenever you have a new product or you want to reach out to more audiences, they will share your stuff. You need people like that in your community. All right. And then pretty much after that, you have that brand loyalty and that's income. That's where all the money comes in, all right? So if you really wanna learn how this four-step system is working and is working for some of our students, I have a student that is actually earning more than the gurus out there. If you look and, um, you know, if you scroll up, I always show testimonials of how my students are actually doing. On top of that, we do have an agency where we've got, well, obviously non-disclosure agreements, but we're helping small businesses grow, guys. And it's only just really being available and, you know, and really showing up for the people that you, you want to serve. So in the meantime, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I know it takes a while to get used to this. It's 30 minutes, but there's so much value that I always want to give. If you, if you're interested, just type in blueprint and let us know, you know, how we can help you and your business to be profitable and enjoyable. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.